Yes, yes. Right. And we're recording. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> I never said it was. Four rolls, Greg Paul's having a bit. I'm actually going to do a little extra with the warm up today. So let me fix the camera just a little bit while she's doing her four rolls, break falls, and standing in base. Good morning, Kirsty. How are you? We're going to be going over a little bit extra for the warm up today. I'm gonna fix this before it flies off. I don't want to do it. I know you don't want to do it. It looks like you don't want to do it. Come on, guys. I believe in four rolls. Try and tilt the cameras in the same fucking angles. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, I get you to move. I can do that. Yes. That's how you do the wall. Is oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do a quick Elisa. <laughs> Side so it's on the camera. From here, head over the shoulder, pause. The foot that I'm looking at is going to be solid. This one is not going to do this. When I'm here, right away, windshield wiper, active toes, windshield wiper. Okay? It's so much better. Maybe you should do this. I know, I should totally do it. Boom. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Click, click, find my biting mix. So not just here we go. The foot I'm looking at solid. From here, when I come up, yeah. Fuck that. Active, active, fighting base. Wow. Yeah, you happy? Wow. Yeah, thank you. It's almost like I'm doing it for a really long fucking time. Boom. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do my hip escapes now. Yeah, <sighs> uh, uh, come on. I I'm going to put some fucking effort in. I'm going to put some fucking effort in. I'm going to put some fucking effort in. Look at me. Look at me. Go back. Sorry. I'm going to put that on Melon Farmer. All right, so let's add on that to that. Thank you. It's like I've been practicing a really long time. When you do your warm ups, half ass it. It doesn't matter. It's your warm up, okay? Over time, repetitive motion of doing something, you're going to get good regardless, okay? So if you spent every day 
drawing a bin chicken. I'm not even going to use that metaphor because this country doesn't have bin chickens. If, uh, if raccoon. Huh? A raccoon? you spent every day drawing a raccoon, even if you don't know how to draw and you drew that same raccoon every day for a year, one of them is going to not look like shit. Perfect metaphor. Do one warm up that doesn't look like shit per year, and you've done more than most people have done in their lifetime. Okay? Horrible metaphor. Now, for your warm up, what I want is a little bit extra with the legs today because things, ah, that's right, we're going to be dealing with the leg kick defense to start off with, and then head locks using the legs. So, uh, normally, advanced class would have a whole bunch of different warm ups for the legs, but one thing that we can do is we can practice using a bit of momentum to hop up. So, yeah. rather, I know she was really bad at this for a long time, but she got good at it. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I've never done it. fail in public. Yeah. If you can fail in front of a million people. That's I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to try. No. Okay. Let's say we start small. We're going to put two fists on the ground. And I'm going to use that connection to the ground to hop up on two feet and stand. If you can do that, you can do this. Wow. Yes, you can. So if I'm here, I'm going to use my feet and their connection to the ground. Up, okay, and I can get a little bit of a swing with my arms. If I can do this, I can do it. Let's see if you can do that. I want you to lift your butt off of the ground and throw your arms out. Good, come back down again. Good. No, <laughs> just try once. Come on, get a big swing. Don't be scared. You got this. Whole bunch of oomph. One and two. <laughs> yeah, come on. I think you, uh, you gotta do it right. You gotta do it. Come on. And imagine if you get it right, it's on camera forever. Come on. No, I don't want to do it. Fair enough. I can't yell at you forever to do something. <laughs> if I'm here, I'm just gonna use my legs connections to the ground to get my legs out from underneath me and find my base. So rather than trying to uh, uh, get uh, to stand up, you're already down. One of your legs isn't up. Don't give up your base. My base is good. My base is good again. Okay? So, do a couple of hops. Alright? Do a couple of, you can do this. Just stand up however you want to. Nah, I'm scared. You no. the camera off, please. That was good. That was good enough. I'm happy with that. Okay? So, this is, I'll, I'll do the, the, the creepy version in just a second. But for now, let's get our feet just outside of our hips and start to do circles with our hips. Yes, yes, not bad. Big circles, good. Other way, big circles. Breathe when you do things. Always breathe out more than in. You're breathing in by default. Okay, now, tiny creepy circles with just your hips. To the left, creepy, make it creepy, creepier. Other way, there we go, little circles. <laughs> Look at me, tell me if I'm doing creepy. Nah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> as creepy as possible. <laughs> now, put your knees together. From here, hands on the knees. Big circles to the left. Go slow. If you can hear cracking and popping, you live a weird life. <laughs> Go to the right. Step out just a little bit. Circles inwards. Warming up the knees. Good. Circles outwards. Good. <laughs> Don't do the Charleston. Okay, from here, I want you to pull your knee back and I want you to pull your heel to your butt and stop the ground with your foot. In other words, switch. Okay, rear break fall. Put two fists by your ears. Push yourself forward onto a foot. Onto a foot. Onto a foot. You're doing great. Onto a foot. Eventually, push yourself forward and start to stand up just a little bit at a time. Just a little bit at a time. Then sooner or later, you can just stand up with one leg. Okay, so warm ups for your legs, a whole bunch of different versions. 
For now, let's get into distance management and punch drills. So, do me a favor, stand over here. Make sure we're both on the same camera. Paul, let's get a little bit closer to me. Okay, so today's class, warming up with the flinch drills. That's yeah, because you have to. Because you have to. Yeah. Good job. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Again. Yes. Yes. Now nah, you missed that last one. I got that. I know you. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, once we've done that for a little bit, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Laura, let's add on to this. And we're going to start with our normal flinch drills. So technically, we should be up against the wall, but cameras, I like to step a little closer to me, I need you to pay attention to that camera specifically. So look over to the big one every once in a while, make sure you're on it, okay? Hands up. Perfect. Weights in the toes, and I want you in a neutral base. What I mean by neutral base is your feet go just outside of your shoulders. Not good enough, okay? Just outside your shoulders. So imagine somebody came up and gave you a little bit of a push and you went, oh, I don't want to fall. That's where I want you. I want your weight in your toes and I want your hands in the middle. So what I mean by the middle is too close means too hard for her to get to that. You need to stop doing that. Too hard for her to get to that in time. I know you don't. Too far, too hard for her to get to that in time. We want to be in the middle for this reactionary drill. Later on, when we're doing advanced classes, we'll talk about covering in different ways, okay? Right now, I want you to get used to the idea of somebody reaching for you and you saying no. That's all, okay? This isn't the be-all and end-all of your jiu-jitsu career. I really want you to understand that because if you get paid to be in a ring one day, I don't want this, okay? One day, you're going to have to start to change things up, okay? But for now, it's really important that you get used to that. Okay, so the hands are in the middle, perfect. Just a quick review before we add on for the day. I'm gonna reach for the face with closed fists, never with my fingers, because you can poke your partner in the eye. I'm gonna come to the outside of the head with the palms of my hands, and I'm gonna come to the rib cage with the palms of my hands, just in case. I don't wanna hit them with a fist and hurt them. I don't want to poke their eye out, perfect. I don't wanna poke their eye out, perfect. I don't wanna smack them in the ear, Yes, yes, yes. Now let's add on a little bit to that. You can notice that she's leaning into these, okay? So, you know, mm, forever. From here, she's not just smacking something across. She's leaning her weight, okay? It's a little too much. Even less, yes, that's enough, okay? Yes, that's enough. Good, okay? When I come to the stomach, she's not gonna drop a hand, she's gonna use her elbow, good. She's gonna use her elbow, perfect. I come to the outside, she's not reaching her arms straight, she just, yes, leaves it a bit bent and pause. A little thing to add on to that for you, I don't want just this, I want you to turn your hand downwards, like you're gonna try and catch my arm one day, okay? So don't reach for it, I'll give it to you. But imagine, that's, don't reach for it. Pause. I want you to smack me in the ear. Look at my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, I want you to smack me in the ear. Okay. okay. That's the only difference. Again, I don't want this. That's not a thing. You're just going to say no. But instead of saying no, so look at the camera. When I reach, I'm not doing this. No. I just got a little hook. Okay. So I'm nice and relaxed. Okay. So do me a favor. Stand right here. And I want you to hit me with your right hand. Left hand. Okay. Not this. Okay. I want just in case. Okay. Nice and relaxed. Big swing again. Big swing. Big swing. Mm. Hands up. Good. Good. Much better. Add weight. Yes. Keep your elbow bent. Not straight, keep your elbow bent. That's good, nice and relaxed. So if there's a tree and it's in the forest and it's the middle of winter and it's one of those big, hard, fucking gnarly trees, a little bit of snow on the end of that branch is gonna break the branch. 
So the more rigid that thing is, the easier it is to break. If snow falls on a willow tree, it just kind of gives way, okay? I want you to start to think about yourself more like a willow than a fucking big oak tree that's gonna break if you drop a fucking acorn on it. Crack! No, just nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. And eventually, that relaxed becomes solid relaxed. Solid relaxed, okay? So, a little bit of flinch you'll add on to this. And let me touch your face, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, that's good. So the fingers are pointing out, kind of like a hook, and it's nice and relaxed, okay? Now, to add on to that, if I was to groin kick, if I was to come in the center and boom, forward, right now, we're in a neutral base. So from here, you're not going to close the door and lose your base. What I want is your knee to turn, that's all. Your feet stay connected to the ground, and it doesn't matter what side I kick on, I want you to just close the door. Yes, that's enough. Yes, that's enough. Perfect, okay. So we can add that on to our drill with our partners. Remember, we don't want to give up our base, our weights and our toes, we're just gonna close the door, okay? Now we're gonna do the opposite of that, and we'll add on a roundhouse kick to that, okay? So the opposite of this motion is gonna be this motion, okay? Remember, when I said avoid giving up your base for the groin kick, if I was going to go for a low kick from here, what I'm doing is called checking, okay? So when I block with my leg, I'm not just lifting my leg. What I want to do is I want to turn the blade of my shin. So you can't necessarily see it on the camera, but here's a little bit. When I'm here, when I lift, I don't lift with my toes pointing to that. Okay? And I don't lift with my weight coming to here. What I want is I want to turn my heel out towards my partner, like we're doing a hip escape. I'm going to show them my shit. They're going to hit the thing that hurts them more. Okay. Also, I want my weight coming in. I want to be coming towards you. Okay. So from here, what we're going to do is this. We're going to turn our heel. So don't just lift your leg. Turn. Turn. Now watch my weight. You can see it right here. I don't want it here. I want my weight here. Okay? So every time we do this, we're going to take a little step forward. Our weight's going to lean towards what we lifted, not away from what we lifted. All right? It's very subtle, but what I want from you, stay right here, please. And do me a favor and kick there. Yes. Okay. You can get a little further away than that. I know you got the short legs, but give it a go. Good. Okay. Again, not going to help me, okay? My hands are up in case her hands want to do something. What I want to do is turn my shin. Good, okay, good. I know, you got to power through. I'm going to put my pants down. Go nice and gentle with your partner. When you turn your heel, the shin bone is actually like a triangle, especially if you spend a lot of time sharpening it from one time. So you're going to do that again. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Good, you've already got shit pads. Let's do that one more time. I got it that. Okay? So notice that I started in a neutral base for this one. My partner's gonna kick me in the shin, and I'm going to end up in a fighting base. Okay? My hands are up the whole time. I'm not getting lazy when I do the exercise. My hands are up the whole time. My partner's gonna touch me. I say no. And I step into a fighting base. So one more time on this angle, pause where you are. My weight's in my toes. I'm ready to come forward regardless. My hands are up. And this time, if my partner goes for the groin, I just close the door. If my partner goes on the outside, I'm good. No, just go away. Uh, All is here, okay. Thank you, though. From here, I'm just going to close the door. Now watch my feet because I'm in a neutral base. I turn my heel, and I end up in my fighting base, okay? So your partner can test you at the end of that as well. Because right now, neutral. Fighting. I didn't end up like this. No base. I want you guys to have a reaction of fighting base. Okay? So your heel's gonna turn and you're gonna go, nope. Okay? Now this doesn't even get me. And get really gentle when you start, trust me. So from here, your partner's gonna kick you in the groin. You close the door. Your partner's gonna kick you in the shin. Fighting base, and you check my base. <gasps> I'm a black belt. Good work. Okay, so just a game. Okay, so that's a little add-on. So you played your flinch, uh, your slaps, you know, get used to that. 
Then we went over face, face, stomach, stomach, head, head, ribs, ribs. Okay. Little thing to add on to that is when you're reaching, don't reach with a straight arm. Not a thing. Willow, nice and bent. And imagine it's gonna have like a little hook on the end one day, so you need to add on to that hurt people. Now, the legs. <laughs> Words. When we do the leg stuff, keep a neutral base, close the door, find the base. All right. Now, the big add on before we get into the groundwork today, we're gonna to deal with roundhouse kicks. Okay, so do me a favor. I want you to stand right here -ish and shake off. Perfect. Okay, so. From here, I can't necessarily get to it with my hand. You're going to be fine. Don't freak out and run. If I use my leg, I can get to them. Okay? So we need to be aware of the fact that not everybody is going to be held for leather coming for the head. They could be front push kicking, kicking to the groin, outside leg. A whole bunch of stuff happens down here that a lot of people ignore. Okay? That being said, most people are just going to roundhouse to your head. Trust me. Okay? They don't know how to fight, they're just swinging for the face. That's it. That's the one that you need to be ready for the most. Yes, that's the one that you need to be ready for the most. The moment you see somebody start to do something like this, all right, good thing. Okay? They start to get a little bit of a pivot. Maybe from here, they start to walk forward with their leg forward. There's a lot of tells. Okay? Sooner or later, you're going to start to see them coming as opposed to this. What? What? This guy, okay? Maybe this guy. Right. Maybe this guy. You never know, okay? The more you fight, the more you know. For now, flinch drill with the legs. My partner's gonna give me a big old round ass kick. Great work. <laughs> Pause, let's get back to both hands. Stay here. Okay, so she's gonna kick the ever loving crap out of me. Not bad. When you kick your partner, use your shin, not your foot, okay? It's gonna hurt a whole lot less. So when she kicks me, she's gonna get a big old swing. Boom, perfect, okay? So we don't want to bear that. It's not gonna ruin our lives, but it's really painful over time, okay? Kick the side. You get, not your foot, use your shin, trust me. Yes, okay, did you feel that? Mm -hmm. You felt my leg? That hurt me. Okay, did that hurt you? No. Okay, that definitely hurt me. If she did that two or three more times, my base starts to look like this. Ha, huh. I don't really want to get kicked in the front leg anymore. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to have a bit more reaction to that front leg. So now when she goes to kick at the thigh, if yes, good. If the kick is low enough, it's just going to be perfect timing. It's just going to be my shin. Okay, so if the person's coming in like that, that's not the reaction I want from you. Okay, if she's gonna come in and kick my thigh low, I'm just turning my heel. Okay, now judgment call on your part. You can use your hands as well. So if it comes to about here, your hands are fine. But remember, if that person's going to hit you, you need to be aware of all the other strikes as well. So we don't want to be away from the middle for too long. So if you practice this, let's say our partner is just gonna aim for just above the hip bone today. Okay? They're going to be coming higher than the hip bone because if they hit your hip bone, it's going to hurt them. Right? So they're going to give you a big old swing. Boom! Very good. Okay. Now, we need to get on both cameras. Pause. Stay where you are. Remember this spot. Okay? So from here, my knee can't come up high enough. I mean, it can. If I bring my leg up, how's my base look? It's a bit shit. All right? So I'm just going to use my hands that were here, and I'm going to say no. Okay? So what we're doing is we're going to Gotta have an airbag, right? So if she gives me that big kick again, if I move, it doesn't hurt as much. It'll still contact, but it's not gonna give me the full shot. So again, she goes to kick, I'm gonna go with that kick. Good, okay. When your partner kicks, I want them to kick through you, kick through me. Good, okay. You can step away with it, and when you step, it's in base. You step and drag, okay? So now what we're gonna do is add on an airbag. So if you look at my hands just here, I'm not going to hope for the best. The hand that's closest is just going to go here. The hand that's furthest is going to go right behind it. It's not two hands on top of each other. Imagine they want a little bit of space to go, okay? So I get the air back. So I'm going to smack my hand. My hand smacks them, all right? So now when she kicks, that's all it is. So don't think of it as a huge 
big oak tree that's rock solid bearing that weight. Think of it like an airbag goes and back to the middle. Okay? So again, my partner goes to kick, back to the middle. Okay? My hands don't stay down there like I'm a badass. My hands go, fuck. I don't know what's coming next. Okay? Just like this. Fuck. I don't know what's coming next. Fuck. I don't know what's coming next. I'm saying that way too much. Fudge. I don't know what's coming next. All right? So when I'm blocking the kick, it's not going to be ha! No, we come back to the middle every time. Okay? You find your base, you say no. Okay? So we're going to practice that a few times. Let's do that one more time with me. I want you on this side. Pay attention to my hand. The common mistake that I see is reaching further with this hand. Okay? You're already here. There's your back up. Okay? So the close hand comes first, far hand comes second, and it's just going to go. Again, please. And I'm going to take a little step away every time I do it. Okay? One more time. Okay. You're going to do that to me. You ready? You're going to go nice and slow. Your hands are in the middle. You're fine. Okay? Hands are in the middle. Yeah. So let's just step away with this one. Don't try and do the airbag. Hold your hands up so that I have a space to kick. Okay? Don't worry. Nice and relaxed. When the leg comes, I want you to stay in base. Step and drag for me right now. Perfect. Let's do that again. Good. You can avoid the kick altogether even better. Good. Yeah. Don't do this. Not going to help you. Step and base. Step and base. Okay. One more time. Step over here, please. Pause. Don't hop back. Just off into the side. Don't hop back. Because every time you back away, you're making it harder for yourself to get into the crunch. Think of it that way. Okay? So I need you, like a flinch drill, there's a wall behind you. You don't get to go away. Yes. So I want you to go with the leg. I want you to literally step into my arm right now. Step into my arm right now. Sorry about your boom. Shape up. You're doing good. Don't step away. Just to the side, nice and slow, nice and slow, and let it touch you. Try not to avoid it touching you, okay? Let it touch. Good, that's fine. Good. You're fine. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? Good, that's fine, okay? Stay where you are. Step with it. With it. You're doing good. It's okay, don't look at me. Don't think about me right now. I want you. Shh. Good. Again. Good. Good. Okay. Now this time, that touches my leg. Okay. And you're gonna still step with. Me, okay. Yes. I don't want two hands like this. I want your hand on top of your hand. Slow. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. That was very good. Okay? Middle. Yeah, your shin is hot. Middle. Good. Don't touch my shin. Touch my knee. Okay. Much better. Okay. You're doing good. Good. Again. I'm doing my best. You're doing fine. Okay. Let's add on to this. So. Once you've gotten used to the idea of someone kicking you and you not doing this to get away from it, I want you here, I want you in base, and I want you to say, no, come back to neutral. No, come back to neutral. No, come back to neutral. And your partner builds up over time, okay? You are not Bruce Lee. The first time somebody goes to kick you, you're not gonna be a badass. You need to practice that, okay? It takes time. Now, let's add on to that. We're going to collect the leg, okay? So this time, the last thing we're going to do before we get into the grabber, the partner's going to give you the exact same kick. When you diffuse it, your hand's already here, okay? So what I want is a little circle, okay? So do me a favor, big kick. That's what we're doing, okay? We practice collecting the kick as well. So one more time, boom, I'm getting away from it. One more time, I am not backing away because now I have to worry about getting back in. If you need to get away, get away, okay? But for now, I'm here, I'm still here, 
Okay? Again, my partner goes to kick. Both collect. Okay? We're going to do a little circle with our hand. So again, the hand is closest. Your partner's going to kick you, and you're going to collect. When you collect, you're not doing anything fancy. And don't worry about them doing a spinning back kick. Push the knee down. No one is that fucking good, okay? You're not fighting professionals just yet. When you collect the leg, we're going to do a controlled take down, okay? So one more time, your partner's going to kick. You step and collect. When you collect, the knee right now is pointing towards the cat, okay? I still need to worry about all of this. So the easiest way to worry about her not knocking me out from here is to put her on the ground, okay? So what I'm going to do as a reaction is not something fancy. I'm going to put my hand just behind the knee, okay? So on the sides, turn your knee, please. Pause. From here, I'm going to tip that knee up, and then I'm going to add weight to it down. When I add weight to it down, I'm just going to step out of the way. And I keep holding on to that leg. Okay, now there is a whole lot of cool stuff that we can do from here. For now, push your hip forward and let go. Okay, whole bunch of great foot locks, whole bunch of great submissions. What I want from you is just this. Stay here, please. Big kick. One here, underneath the side of the knee. I'm going to push and wait. The only thing in the way is me. And I'm going to control my partner's descent. Okay, so that they're nice and safe. Can you try it for me? On me. Words. Let's do it this way so the camera can see. Nice and slow. Your left hand's going to do a big circle. So I want you to say, no, big circle. No. Pause. I want you to say, no, big circle. No, big circle. No, big circle. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Just slow motion. You're fine here. Yeah. Put this hand just here on the knee. Okay. All those fingers upwards. You're going to be pushing the knee that way and taking a step back with your left leg. 100%. Good work. Do that again. No, big circle. No, big circle. Ha uh ha. -huh. And. Okay, that's more than enough for one day. Whew, back to the ground. All right, so today we're going to be going over the headlock again, but we're going to be doing what ifs because there's always what ifs. I'd like you to lay down because what's going on right here. Just scoot back for me. Pause. Okay, previous classes we talked about the headlock and how we get there, most likely from a haymaker or a yogi. I don't know. You got weird friends, that's your call. If I have a headlock on her, from here, the very first thing she needs to do is protect herself, period. So let's do a quick review of that before we add on, okay? Right now, she should tuck her chin, turn it towards me into the gap, and I want you to hide your neck by rolling your shoulders tight to your ears, and just do the next step before I say anything. Pause. I want you to tuck your chin towards me. I want you to roll your shoulders to your ears. Pause here. Talk. Mm. Not helping. Talk louder. I'm talking loud. She's doing great. From here, I want you to free up the neck. Huh. Let go of all the things that I told okay. you to do. Talk loud. Oh, loud. Okay. So I want you to hide everything and talk loud. Mm. Muffled. Awesome. She's fine. Okay. So the chin is tucked, the shoulders are rolled. Now she needs to create an angle because right now, talk loud. La, 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 la. Not good. So she's going to swing her legs towards me. Perfect. Yes. Her bottom shoulder has pulled out from underneath her, and her top shoulder is pushing into me. So now if I do the same thing, la, 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 la. she's fine. Okay. So now, final thing to worry about. Oh. Yeah, that one. Monkey grip. <laughs> yes. Hand on the shoulder. Perfect. Now it's hard for me to pull the arm back. All right. So that's a good quick review for that. Cool. Oh. Yep, you're a ninja? Yeah. Okay. Time swap goals. So let's go over what ifs. Headlock, please. Okay, so from here, the very first thing I need to do is I need to protect myself. Tucking the chin, rolling the shoulders, swinging the legs, pulling my shoulder underneath me, and pushing the shoulder forward. Now, some things that can happen here, right now, when I push that shoulder forward, you notice that her head is still up. 
From here, I have the option of putting my arm across. I have the option of doing the previous class, okay? If my partner's head is tight and down to me, I no longer have that option, okay? So I'm holding on, seeing if they're gonna punch me. Maybe I'll test the base, see if they suck. If I start to pull you back, I want you to just not be pulled back. Yes, what's stopping you from getting pulled back? My... Your left leg, okay? Put your knees together, give up on everything. Eh. Okay, we'll talk about that at the end. If I started to pull her back and she pushes off of her left leg, yes, from here, she's got everything she needs to stop me from doing what I want, okay? So what I'm gonna do is this. I need you to be solid with that leg, no butter. Perfect, I can't pull her back. What I'm gonna do is scoot closer to them. My back leg is gonna hook. Now when my back leg hooks, it's not strong enough to pull me up. This leg is, I'm gonna be pushing off of my rear leg to come up onto my knee. Now when I'm up on my knee, I can get up on my hands, okay? Now, the first variation on the theme for this one, your partner is in like a, a bit of a huddled mess, right? What I want to do is get this grip off of me. So hold on as tight as you can. Your shoulder is connected. Okay, so you're going to be adding weight from your legs to the shoulder itself. Not everyone's going to say, oh God, and let go. So we're going to add on a bit of a more. Okay, so let's do that on another angle, please. I want you to just hit. Sorry, I don't know what he's done. Sorry? I don't know what he's done. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. She tucks her head tight to me. I can no longer do what I wanted to do, which was reach across and get on top. Now, I have to find another way around. So from here, what I want from you is this. You're still holding onto the wrist, you're still holding onto the shoulder. Your rear leg now is gonna become your forward leg. This is what you're gonna push off of. Essential detail for this, I'm not getting fancy. I don't have to be a jujitsu fucking genius. I literally just add weight and just be a dick. From here, I'm up on my knee. I'm gonna put in a little bit extra frame by putting my hand out. My partner's not going anywhere now. What I want to do is this. I'm going to pin the wrist to my chest and I push the shoulder that's connected to her until my partner says tap. Okay, so what that's doing is causing a kimura. That's a kimura. All right, let's do it on this angle. Um, yep. Stay where you are. I'm just going to work around you. Put me in a dog. Pause from here. Her head is tight to me. I'm going to make sure I'm still on my side. That leg is definitely up. If it's not up, I'm doing something else. From here, my back leg hooks. It's nice and relaxed. This rear leg is what I'm going to push off of. I'm pushing into my shoulder that's on the ground to get my hips up. Okay? Now that my hips are up, I can get my knee out from underneath me. Now, if I stay here and she pushes back into me, keep pushing, keep pushing. Yes, she can push me down. So what I need to do is I need to call in reinforcements. So I'm gonna push off my foot, my knee comes in, and now I don't have to worry about the punch. So my hand comes out as well, push back into me. Nothing's happening, perfect. From here, you don't have to hold the wrist. You can just add weight through your shoulder. And your partner's gonna let go, okay? Now, have a look at me without her. I'm here. I have to protect myself. My chin's gonna tuck. My shoulders are gonna roll. Now from here, this is fine, but this isn't. So I need to make sure I'm safe. I'm on my side. I can't compress my lungs anymore. From here, my chin is tucked. My shoulders are rolled. I'm on my side. My bottom shoulder is pulled in, and my top shoulder is heavy, connected to you. Okay. Now. Monkey grip on the wrist, monkey grip on the shoulder, just in case their base sucks and you can just pull them out from underneath. Now, they're not getting pulled, they're solid. There's a head really close to you. Make sure you're not looking at them to make sure. Tuck your chin, hide all the good stuff. From here, take a big step over the leg. Your rear leg is what's gonna help you get up onto your knee. Now that you're on your knees, from here, the only direction that you have on the base is over your shoulder. So make sure you let go and post. Now, I look pretty solid, okay? What I'm doing is this. I'm holding on nice and snug. I don't have to 
I can post a hand and I can start to put everything into this shoulder. That's all of me into that one area that hurts so much. You're subluxing their shoulder. So if they're not letting go at that point, I'll be very surprised for one, but feel free to put a finger in their eye sockets. Most people let go at that point, okay? So again, uh, there's, there's been some plasticky people that I've taught over the years and feel no pain, they're completely fine. Are you on top? That's all that matters, okay? They're the one holding on to a headlock that looks like this. <laughs> Take your time, you got nowhere else to be. Put a wet lily in their ear, see if they let go by hand, okay? But give it a try and be really gentle with how you drive your shoulder. Remember, the reason we get to do this one is because this person has it rolled over. We're gonna go over that next. So what I'd like you to do, I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. I'd like you to lay down head towards the camera. Perfect. From here, protect your neck. Roll your shoulder and turn towards me. 100%. I want you to hold on to my wrist every time, just in case. Good. What that's doing is not stopping me from doing anything, but giving up my base. Okay? So it's pinned against me. It's not a matter of strength. It's a matter of I'm in the way of myself. Okay? So now from here, my head's nice and tight to you, so you can't do that cool first class that we did. I want you to take your left leg and step over my leg. Perfect. I want you to use your right foot and push into your shoulder to get up. Yes, get up to your knee. Yes. Now, from here, I want you to take your right hand out. Yes. Now from here, I want you to put everything into your left shoulder. Tap. Very good. Now, get up and walk away and tell me what I look like. Suitcase baby. Suitcase baby. <laughs> That, that sounds really bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if the, if the audience has no, no context, <laughs> suitcase baby. Is that a collection of babies in the suitcase? Um, yeah. Um, I feel like we should actually give that one a, a bit of explanation. There's a, there's a show called Creep Show, and there's a, a guy called the Suitcase Man. It's a, he picks up a suitcase, and it's a suitcase with a guy in it. So literally, a guy is alive in a suitcase. It's really creepy and weird. So my dog is insane and he's huge and he has to go into his kennel, crate, and it's a, a nice little comfortable place for him to, to not spaz. And when I come home and I let him out, he looks like this, like suitcase dog. He's just in this weird position that he finds comfortable and then and he's fucking back to normal. It's really creepy and weird. So anyways, Aurora, suitcase baby is my dog. Nickname. Sorry. Um, anyways, remember, I looked like this. And then eventually, I looked like this. It was not cocktail comfortable. Okay? Now, what could I do to make it comfortable? I'm in my own way. So some people, they don't just huddle up in a ball and hope for the best. They'll get out of their own way. And now you're still in a headlock. Okay? So the next variation on theme, when we do this with our partner, when you start to do the move and they're nice and tight and they come over the top, when they get to here and they're uncomfortable, they go, fine, I'll just do this and I won't be uncomfortable. You're gonna do that for me now. This side, please. Head lock, head down. When I get to here, when I step over, pause where you are, this is very uncomfortable for her. If she was to straighten out both legs, yes. Now from here, I need to continue this. If she lays flat on her belly, yes, I could still do the same thing, but most likely they're gonna be turning, yes. So what I need to do is modify the map. Um, one time, we need to change angles to make Let's do it right here. Headlock. I turn. I hook, pause here. When I come up, they're not comfortable. So they're gonna straighten out their legs, slump, pause. From here, if she continues to roll, and I don't do anything about it, I end up getting rolled off. So what I want is for you to slowly modify the mouth right away. When your partner starts to come up, step up your leg and slide your knee behind the head. Now, let go for a second, please. We are in the modified mouth, okay? Come with me. Turn, 
modified mount. Okay, turn back towards me. Pause on your back. Turn towards the camera. Same position from the mount. Okay, what we're doing is sliding the knee behind the head and this knee to the ceiling. And remember, we're still in that headlock. So we need to have our hands close to the ground just in case our partner tries to pull our head to the ground. Go. Solid. Okay. At the end, we're going to go over the arm lock as well. But let's do that one more time. Actually, you know what? You got this? You got this. Tom, lay down. And I want you to lay down this way. Head here. Head where noise was. Head where noise was. Head where noise was. Perfect. Pause. Find your comfortable place in that. Perfect. Step over the top. Good. Come up to your knee. And this time I say, you know what? I want you to modify the mount. Yes. Don't do that. Post your hands. Find your base. How do you feel? Don't let me pull your head to the ground. Put your butt back. Back. Yes. Heavy in the ass. Good. Fine. Let's do that one more time. Head to this noise. Head to this list. Thank you. Okay, again from here, your partner is going to do the same escape. Perfect. Leg. Pivot. But this time, good bad guy. Straighten up legs. The rolls over. Your partner finds modified mount, butt down. Don't let me pull your head to the ground. Yes. That feels like good face. Okay. Time. We're doing good. Right yeah, well, we're slightly off okay. camera. But when they saw me do it a few times. Yeah. Okay, so let's add on to this. Now, you're on top. We're in modified mount. There's one more variation I'd like to show you just before we go with the arm lock. Okay? Because there's two things that are going to happen when you end up on top. One, that they let go. Two, that they don't. Alright? Now, if they let go, two things can happen. One, they turn back towards you in the mount. Two, they turn away. You're on the back, okay? Everything in between is just going to be you finding base, okay? Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to go over what happens when you don't have that leg to hook. So this one doesn't get taught too often, but it's very important to learn. I want you to lay your hand on the noise. <laughs> See? Pause, head towards the camera. Pause here. Scoot back for me. Good. Okay. So from here, I've got a headlock on you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, find your safe place. Couch or party. Good. Pause. From here, do the first move. Pause the first move. Ah, you can't do it because the head's down. Do the second move. Mm. Ah, what do you do? Right. All right. Go away from me and have a look at what I'm doing so you can do it to me. Okay. Okay. So, I'm not doing this. You don't have what you need. First off, you don't have what you need. Second off, you don't have what you need. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, okay. So where do I not have base? Right now, everything is, everything is over here towards what you pushed. Yeah. It's literally the opposite way, okay? okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put me in the headlock. Come over here, please. Perfect. Now, I want you to tuck your head down. Yes, good, okay. So now her legs are here, her head is here. She's huddled up in a little ball. She is squeezing my head off. Okay, from here, I'm still doing the same thing that I was doing before. There's nothing stopping me from getting up to my knees. Can you look at the camera for me and tell me if we're on both? Sora, yes. All right, good enough answer. My job is to get up to my knees. So just like the first thing you did, I'm going to get up on my knees. Now, I'm going to get my hand out and post. Now from here, the move is a lot simpler than you think. It has nothing to do with me pulling up towards you, head. No, I can't pull up, but there's nothing stopping me from pulling back, okay? What I'm doing is this. Would you hop up one more time, please? Shoot, shoot. From here, I turn on my side. My shoulders are rolled, protecting myself, okay? Now, what I wanna do is this. 
first move, we stepped over and pushed off of our back leg to come up. For this one, you don't have to do that. Just get up on your knees. There's nothing stopping you, okay? So you just get push off your toes, get up on your knees. Now, where do I not have base? I'm gonna make sure I find base. Now, everything is huddled in, okay? And you're never gonna be able to lift. Imagine trying to do any kind of weight lifting like this. Doesn't help. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk away from them, okay? My hips go away, and now I pull my hips back. I'm not lifting my head. I'm sitting my butt back, okay? So holding onto the shoulder, pushing off the hand, I'm just gonna get out of their way and put them here, okay? Let's do it one more time on this angle, and I'll change angles a couple of times. Are we good on the camera? Yeah, I don't know what you have. Perfect. Huddle up in a little ball. Perfect. The more that person huddles up in a little ball, the easier it is. Let's do it on this angle. Huddle up on the ball. Turn up on the knees. Holding the shoulder, posting the hand. Now from here, all I'm doing is just getting out of the way. Perfect. One more time, we'll do it on this angle. Camera? Yeah. Cameras. A little, a little ball. Yes, you mean it. Yes. Time. Okay. Three variations on the theme. <laughs> Three variations on the theme with that one. Okay. So, number one, if there's space, we're going to fill that space. We'll do hip escape. We have the scissor choke that we can do, and then we have a uh, getting up to the mount, right? Now, that was the last few classes. This class, we've gone over what happens if there's no space to do those moves. So we're gonna climb over the leg, add weight, break the shoulder if we need to, okay? If they roll over, we end up in a modified mount. Now, the last version of that is then hug up in a little ball, and we don't have any of those options. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same first move. We get up to our knees, host the hand, and now we just get out of our own way. All right, so the last thing I'd like to add on to that, we're going to do the arm lock, okay? So our partner is huddled up in a little bit of a ball, and let's say at the very end of what we just did, they're still holding up to us, okay? So lay down, please. Head right here, legs this way. Huddle up in that little ball on the side. Yes, okay, so this is what she was doing on top. So headlock, this is where we came up, okay? Mm -hmm. So we've done this in a few classes, but we're going to review it one last time. If this person is still holding on to me, nice and snug, I don't necessarily want to try and get away like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the modified mount. I need you to close that door. Yes. It's very hard for me to step over. So what I'm going to do is this. My hand slides through and it touches the mat in front of the knee. My right knee, I'm going to put that at the bottom of her tailbone. Okay. Now from here, I'm holding onto that shoulder, just like we were doing before. I'm gonna get out of her way. So my foot slides out, knee slides up, just like our warm up, and I'm gonna push from this hand, pull from this hand, and open everything, okay? Now from here, I can take my time and step over, but when I step over, I'm a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ankle, drag it in, and readjust my base into the modified amount, okay? Over the arm lock at the end. Just quickly, I want you to do that because I know you've done it a few times. You should be fine. I'll walk you through step by step. Okay, so pause. Pop over this way. Put yourself in a headlock and start with your hands behind you. Good. So I'm huddled up in a little ball. She needs to create this space. So that right hand is going to slide through and touch the mat right in front of the knee. Now her right knee is going to touch my tailbone. Good. So she's at the end of both levers. The left hand is going to hold on to my shoulder. Now, rather than being strong, what I want you to do, get out of your own way and add weight. So pause here. I want you to slide your left foot out and then slide your left knee up, just like your warm-up. Good. There's an open door. I want you to push from this hand 
and pull with this hand. Yes, do you feel that? Mm -hmm. It's much easier when there's a push pull action. Yeah. It has nothing to do with being strong. Yeah. Now from here, I want you to slide your left leg back to me. <laughs> I was gonna yell at her for not having the face, but she was scratching her nose. Okay, now step over with your right leg. Good, grab your ankle, perfect, find your base. Now, two hands at the ground, perfect, you're solid. Okay, we'll do a little arm up in a second. Now, have a look at me with no one there, because there's some little details from the height, okay? So I'm here, my hands are here when I came up, holding onto the shoulder. I'm gonna slide through, make a connection to the ground. My knee is lining up with my hand, and the tailbone is right here, okay? Now, what I was saying before, when we do this, I can't pull them because I'm in the fucking way. So what I'm gonna do is my warm up. My foot slides out, my knee slides up. You notice how I did not give up my base to do that. Look at my base right now. I don't wanna give them anything. I wanna be solid and say, no, I'm not going anywhere. You are, okay? So remember, when we do this, we don't half ass. We full ass. The foot slides out, active toes, the knee comes up. Now from here, what I was saying to her, it's not just this. You're pushing off of this hand. You're using the ground to peel this person open, okay? Now that everything is open and I can step over, I'm gonna put my foot back down, slide it back in. That gives me the space and the angle to pull my leg over. I'll hold on to my leg and pull that in. Now from here, every single thing that I did just then was me protecting my base so that I don't have to use strength and pull my lower back out trying to not get pulled over, okay? Again, every single thing I did was just about base, okay? So it's not cool dance moves for funsies. It is you learning to function with base under stress. Okay, so let's do that one time from behind. Julian? Uh, hold up a little ball. Sure. Hold me a headlock. Hold up a little ball. Hold me a headlock. Pause here. Okay. From here, hand slides through where the knee is. My knee finds the tailbone. From here, I'm not giving up my base to free my leg. Slide, slide. I push from this hand to pull to here. Now I need to be up into the mouth. So I'm going to switch. Now I'm going to slide this back in. I'm going to find my base. Okay? Come. Oh, you think you can nail your arm lock in two minutes? <laughs> Just use it. You go away. You go away. You go away. You go away now. Come here. Come here. Modify now. Come here. Modify now. Pause. Hey, do the arm up. Get your butt back, woman. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. Take your left hand, put a shh. Yes. Make a fist. Pause here. I want to see clamp on that wrist. I want you to pinch your ear and your shoulder together. Push up into the left. Pause. I want you to push my chin to the ground. Your left knee should be behind my head. Yes. Hold on to your shoulder. Don't worry about my arm. It's yours. From here, walk your foot up. Flare your knee. Throw the leg over. Very good. Safety tip, cover your face. Pause. Pinch your knees. Pull your heels to you. Lift. Tap. 100% there you go. All right. Goodbye. Have a wonderful weekend, guys.